mi gente, ¿cómo estamos? Una vez más en Sin Filtro, su programa desde Mount Poconos en Pennsylvania. Tengo la ayuda de mi hijo Christian que me está ayudando, disfruten el programa. Estamos hablando sobre las marchas, las protestas, las cosas que están pasando y bueno, esperamos que todo esto me amore, bien de ustedes, de sus familias y bueno, de toda la comunidad en general, en, acá en, bueno, en Pennsylvania, en New Jersey, Nueva York, en todos los Estados Unidos. Thank you very much and disfruten el programa. This is the Mayor Sacon from Nobergen. How are you, Mayor? How are you doing? Very good, thank you. What is the message for the community today? The message is that this is a legitimate protest and it's a peaceful protest. And we want to make the world a better place and the United States a better place. And this is the way to do it. Our country is built on protests. What went bad was when rioters and people like that got involved and, and destroyed it and discredited all those who are honestly trying to make the world and the United States better. Today we're going to make things better, we're going to stand together and we're going to march together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
We have the chief of Union City. Hi, how are you? Went to the uh, Union City protest and now you are here. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. Good to see you again. Thanks for coming out and support. How is the message for the community in this situation right now? I think that it's important that we all stand together, um, whether it's people from the neighborhood, people from outside of the neighborhood, the Hudson County community, and far reaching um, from New Jersey, different areas in New Jersey. We need to stand together. We need to have our voices be heard. We need to let New Jersey and the nation know that we don't tolerate social and racial injustice. And then like it was like a one apple, one bad apple is not like every single one is a bad apple too, right? In the community. No, absolutely not. Um, police officers should be held accountable for their actions and the actions of one should not color the actions of the rest. But that could be said of anybody. There needs to be accountability and transparency and that's part of the message with, uh, with law enforcement now. We do have to answer to the public. We do have to explain our actions. And um, I think that when we stand together and when we have the open dialogue and people see that we are transparent and are accountable, we can accomplish great things. Okay, thank you, Chief. Keep doing that great job. Thank, thank you, you Christian. Good thank to see you again. How you doing, Christian? My name is Peter Facilis, and I'm the Chief of Police of the North Bergen Police Department here in New Jersey. Hi, Chief. How are you? Uh, what do you expect today um, in this situation that happened and, you know, in all the country um, protesting and stuff? What is your message for the people? It, my message is this. I know we are as frustrated as everybody else. It was what happened to Mr. Floyd was, was a heinous act and it doesn't represent all police departments in the United States. Especially here in New Jersey, we, we take a lot of pride in the amount of training and community outreach we conduct here in New Jersey. And we want to make, just let everybody know, we're with it, we're with you. We're with the community and we're here to do, you know, make sure that the community is safe. And the officers here that are here with us right now are representative of the community. They come from this community. They're hired from within this community. So they represent the community themselves. Uh, a lot of people see us now the office like an enemies, right? Maybe they have the wrong message, right? Uh, and can, can you, what can you say about that? Uh, we invite people to come, and and, I'll, and what happens is a, a lot of people don't understand, especially in New Jersey. We uh, we take a lot of measures 
and, and we lead the, uh, the country in a lot of our policies and procedures that, you know, a lot of the country doesn't follow. So what we're trying to say right now is that we're with you and, you know, what happened in Minnesota isn't going to happen here in New Jersey. And there has to be a discussion with the rest of the states and the rest of the country that the, their officers are educated, informed, and have the right training to make sure that, hey, this isn't, you know, this isn't how we conduct police work. Okay. Thank you very much, Chief. Uh, do, keep doing the great job. Okay? Thank you, thank Christian. You. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, thank have you. A
gente, espero que hayan disfrutado el programa. Por favor, se los voy a pedir encarecidamente. Eh, tenemos una pandemia que azota a la comunidad, azota el mundo. Tenemos el problema también con esta situación de la brutalidad policía que lamentablemente tuvo el deceso de, de George Floyd. Hay muchas protestas, hay vandalismo, hay saqueo. Por favor, hay que respetarnos los unos a los otros, eh, cumplir con lo que se refiere a las reglas de la pandemia, el distanciamiento social, lavarse bien las manos, eh, usar su máscara. Cuando vayan a las tiendas, respeten, tengan que respetarnos los unos a los otros. Y también eh, eso de saqueos, ese vandalismo, por favor, eh, eh, es un solo planeta en el que vivamos, en el que vivimos, perdón. Vamos a aprender, aprender a convivir los unos con los otros. Y bueno, tengo un nuevo camarógrafo que es mi hijo Cristian, así que estoy un poco nervioso. Ya se vino el día del padre, me trajo mi máscara y bueno, gracias, espero que hayan disfrutado del programa. Hasta luego, me tengo que poner la máscara porque quiere que tenga la máscara todo el tiempo, imagínense. Gracias.